In this video we're going to continue with our React series and we're going to create a more useful React app. In the last couple episodes we've gone through using Webpack to build our application to using Babel and ES6 and then in the last episode we set up a very very basic React app. If we actually look at that React app in the browser you can see it just says hello world I'm a React app. We're going to expand from here and we're going to create a super simple to-do application that you can build off of. We're going to start this first video with just getting the basic elements on the page. So to do that, let's go ahead and open up our index.js file. And if we go down to the bottom, you can see we're attaching our routes to our element main like we talked about before. We have our route path and it's going to use the component of main page, which we've defined above. So we're going to start there and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to delete the div. And then we're going to see about adding some components. One of the things about JSX is it has to have a root element. You can't have multiple, say, divs at the very top level of this JSX block. So in this case we're going to start with a div and we're going to pack some stuff in there. We want to use a React component that we're going to create called remove to dos. We want to create another component called to do's and then another component called add to do. We're going to build a custom React component to be able to handle removing our to do's. We're going to, and like the layout and what it looks like and how it feels. Same thing with displaying our to do's and then same thing with the form for adding a to do. One of the things that we want to do is we want our main page to manage our state. In the next video, we'll discuss state. But for this video, we want to have a function that is in our main page component, and we want to pass that function down to remove to dos. So we're going to just basically do remove to dos equals this dot remove to dos. This is saying, hey, in the remove to dos component, we're going to have a property attached to it. So we call this dot props and call remove to do's and it's going to associate it with the function that we're about to declare here in a little bit. In to do's we're going to pass the state but we'll get to that in the next video. And then finally in add to do we're going to do add to do equals this dot add to do. So with that we need to go ahead and define our functions up above. Do add to do and remove to do's. So I've gone ahead and added those. Add to do will take a string so when React goes to render this out, it's going to pass it down in to the component that needs, it needs to use it with. And we'll see that actually work here in a minute. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our remove to do's component. It's going to be a react.create class, pass it a JSON object, and then close it out. Every React component needs a render function, so we're going to create our render function and return a JSX element. So we're going to create a button and on click we're going to call this dot remove to do's. Now this is going to call the remove to do's that's in our component and not the one that's in our props that is being passed in. We want to do that because we want to do other stuff generally along with the remove to do's than just calling the parents remove to do's function. So with that in mind we're going to go ahead and create the remove to do's in this component. We're just going to call this dot props dot remove to do's. So this is just going to call the function that's in its parent and that's it. It's just going to be kind of a, a pass through situation and we're not going to do a lot with this at the moment. This is just to show you how we're going to build things. Next we're going to add our to do's component and we're just going to go ahead and build that out. Add the basics of it all at once. And then in this render we're going to do const to do's equals and then we're going to just going to define some basic to do's. We're going to create a basic object couple of basic objects that have an ID and text for the actual to do so that we can have something to populate here in a minute. Then we're going to return a JSX element and it's going to be an unordered list and then we're going to use some JavaScript fun, some ES6 and we're just going to do to do's dot map and then we're going to use an arrow to create a function kind of an anonymous function in a sense and it's going to take in data so everything that we're mapping, and so it's going to take each element of to-dos, pass it into a function as data. And then for each pass into the function, it's going to, JSX is going to render out the to-do component that we're going to create here in a second. It's going to pass it a key, and that's going to be the ID. And then it's going to pass in data, so the props will have data to act on. 
and then that's it. So now it's going to take everything that's in the to do's constant above and then it's going to render it out. So with that, we need to create our to do component and it's going to be simple. We're just going to get the data out of this dot props and then we're going to return some JSX and it's just going to basically display a list element of data dot text. So now that we have our to do's component and it's calling our to do component to list out our to do's we're ready to go ahead and create our add to do component down below. We'll go ahead and create the basics of it. And then we're just gonna create a form, just a general HTML form, and it's gonna call this.handle submit. So, so when we hit the submit button, it will take care of actually dealing with the form. As you can see, this is a super basic form and there's not really a lot to it and it doesn't really need to be. And we'll get into handling more form stuff in the next video where we handle managing and dealing with state. So with that, our basic to-do app is done on us trying to display everything that we want to get out on the screen. As an example of running a function from the main page component into a lower component, we're gonna go ahead and add just alert remove stuff just to tell you, hey, this is actually being called. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and run this in the browser. So if we'll refresh our page, we have an error. So let's go ahead and look at it in the console. We'll click on it to get more. And it looks like we have React spelled in a lowercase on our add to do component. Let's jump back into our JavaScript. Go down and give it a capital R. And then once we get done rebuilding it and everything, we can jump back into the browser refresh the page and there we go it works we have remove all to do's which is the button that we created we have our two elements that we created in the add to do's and then we have our form element at the bottom that's not going to work finally we click on remove all to do's and it calls that function where we have removed stuff that was in the main page component so that concludes this video on setting up and viewing our different components in the browser using react uh, join us for the next video where we're going to go over actually dealing with state and make this actually a little bit useful where we can add to do's and then remove all the to do's in the list. Once we're done with that, we're going to take the next step and convert this existing app that we're about to write into using Redux, which is a lot of fun and fairly simple once we have this done. So stay tuned and have a good day.